Hi friends, welcome to Naresh I Technologies. Welcome to the sixth session on the topic permutations and combinations. Now, in the previous five sessions, we have learned about combinations, that is selections. Now, let us recall what do you mean by combination. Out of n different things, if we select r things, the number of selections is given by ncr and it is given by n factorial by n minus r factorial into r factorial. Now, n c 0 that is not selecting anything out of n different things and it is given by 1, n c 1 selecting 1 out of n different things and it is done in n different ways, n c n selecting all n things out of n things and it is done in one way. In combinations, we have a formula ncr is also equal to nc n minus r. And the next point, in how many ways can we select at least one out of n different things that is nc1 plus nc2 and so on till ncn. It is given by 2 to the power of n minus 1 and the number of diagonals in a n sided polygon is given by nc2 minus n or which is equal to n into n minus 3 by 2. If a set of n parallel lines intersect with another set of n parallel lines, then the total number of parallelograms formed is given by m c 2 into n c 2. Now, this is what we have learned in the previous 5 sessions. Now, today let us talk about permutations. Combinations is selection, permutation is arrangement. Now, before we start the session, let us look into an example. In the first session of permutations and combinations, we have come across this example. Three friends ABC going to a movie. The possibilities of the number of tickets they can get is they may get one ticket, two tickets, three tickets or they may not get any ticket. Now, if they have one ticket, who will go to the movie? Either A, B or C. If they have two tickets, who will go to the movie? either AB, BC or AC. If they have three tickets, who will go to the movie? I, all the three ABC and if they do not have any ticket, all the three will not go to the movie. Now, here we have been selecting 1 out of 3, 2 out of 3, 3 out of 3 and 0 out of 3. If I select 1 out of 3, it is possible in three different ways. If we select 2 out of 3, it is also possible in 3 different ways. If I select 3 out of 3, it is possible in one way. I do not select anyone, it is possible in one way. Now, once they buy the tickets, the next moment they enter into the theatre. If they have one ticket, definitely they have only one place available in the theatre to sit. Now, if they have one ticket, in how many different ways can they sit in the chair? If A go, A will sit, if B go, B sit, if C go, C sit, that is it is three different ways. Now, if they have two tickets, definitely there are two places available for them. So, in how many different ways can they sit in these two places? Now, if A, B go, they sit like this, A, B or B, A. If B, C go, B, C or C, B. If A, C go, a C or C A. Now, if all the three friends go to the movie, then definitely three places are available for them. In how many ways they can sit here? A B C A C B B A C B C A C A B C B A. Now, you can see there are six different ways in which they can sit. If all the three friends go to the movie. If they do not have any ticket, definitely not selecting anything is one selection, not arranging anything is also one arrangement. So, each of these arrangement is called a permutation. Now, what is the definition of permutation? Out of n different things, we select r things and we arrange them, then each of these arrangements is called a permutation. Now, n different things selected all at a time can be arranged in n factorial ways. Now, coming to the formula, n different things selected r at a time 
can be arranged in NPR ways which is actually given by NCR into R factorial. That is you select R things out of N different things and you select and you arrange those R things. Now calculating this N factorial by N minus R factorial into R factorial into R factorial. These two get cancelled. So, the formula is N factorial by N minus R factorial. So, NPR is actually given by N factorial by N minus R factorial. Now, coming back to our example. Now, in this case, we select 1 and we arrange. In how many ways can it be done? 3 P 1 ways. According to the formula, 3 P 1 should be 3 factorial by 3 minus 1, 2 factorial into 1 factorial. Now, this 3 factorial is 6, 2 factorial is 2. So, 6 by 2, 3. 1 factorial is always 1. So, 3 different ways. Now, we can see the 3 different ways. Now, here in this case, out of 3 friends, we are selecting 2 friends and we are arranging them. In how many ways it can be done? 3 P 2 ways, which is 3 factorial by 3 minus 2, 1 factorial. 3 factorial is 6, 6 by 1, 6. Now, what are we doing here? Now, here 6 different ways we can see A, B, B, A, B, C, C, B, A, C, C. A. Now, here what are we doing here? Out of 3 friends, we are selecting all the 3 and we are arranging them and it is done in 3 P 3 ways, which is 3 factorial by 3 minus 3 0 factorial, which is once again 6 because 0 factorial is 1. So, you can see the 6 different ways. Now, what are we doing here? Out of 3 friends, we are not selecting anything and we are not arranging anything. So, 3 P 0, which is 3 factorial by 3 minus 0, 3 factorial and which is 1. Now, the important points that we must know here, some values, N P 0, it is equal to 1, that is you do not arrange anything. Next, N P 1, that is out of N different things, you select one thing and you arrange them and it is done in N ways. N P N, out of N different things, you select all the things and you arrange them and it is given by n factorial. Now, in permutations, n p n value will also be equal to n p n minus 1. Now, these are the basic points that we must know to answer the questions in permutations. Along with this, we may we will learn some more new points. Now, let us take a small example. In the next session, we will take some examples and we will try to solve them. Thanks for watching. For more videos, subscribe to Naresh IT.